All right, and we're back with more Vampire Survivors. So let's get to some more unlocking. All right, so as I said last episode, we're going to go with Popea this time, and we are going to go to the map forest because our main goal is to survive 50 minutes. And also, there's a couple things I think we can do. We can also we can look for the coffin. Now that we have the map, we can have a bit of an easy go to it. We can also kind of work on defeating skeletons, as well as defeating the blue Venus. And lastly, uh, we can try to hit, let's see, is she, yep, uh, level 50 with her, along with getting the evolution for her weapon, which is the Song of Mana. And that's it for the main goals. There is another thing we can try to do, but we'll, we'll see if we can actually do it. Anyways, Popea it is in the map forest, so let's go. That is the wrong stage. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. That was my mistake. Anyways, let's see. We did get a wake, which is pretty handy for our beginning exploration things because we got level 50 with Crochi. So let's get going. So first goal, uh, Song of Mana is actually a really solid weapon at the beginning as long as you're it's also a really good weapon for a gallo tower it gets a vertical weapon but we do that we do need some horizontal things going on here uh the fire one might be handy but we're actually gonna go with the one it might not be as powerful but we already have power with the song of mana but the thing the first thing we're gonna go for is the pumarola over here and since I have something in mind, I am not going to try to wait until I have six passives. I'm just going to go straight for it. Try to pick up XP along the way, though. I also do like the song that plays for her. I don't know if it's exclusive to her, but I think it's the first time we've actually heard this particular song. So a good chunk of characters have their like own music. All right. Uh, actually, this is a good time. We're gonna take Peachone and we're gonna try to get Ebony Wings as well. This does this does not help us in the short term, but in the long term, it could actually be pretty useful. All right, we'll farm some XP though because it's pretty easy enemies still. Um, well, the Hollow Heart's here, so we are going to take the Axe to add another vertical weapon. There we go, the Ebony Wings. Sweet. So we got both birds. All right, let's just keep going down now. Uh, we're not that far from the Pumarola. I might go for the pentagram if the crown shows up. But first I want to get the crown. Well, we'll take the candelabra. Just because it's it's a nice upgrade to everything. I know it's not called the candelabra, but I'm just going to call it that because that's what it is in terms of its look. Let's take Mana. The Song of Mana is always great to upgrade at this early stage. Alright, alright. Let's keep taking the Song. I really wanted the Attractor, but since we're not gonna... I'm not gonna take Santa Water this run. I'm, I'm just gonna say that right now. As useful as a weapon it is. Especially in later, uh, later in the run. I just want to see if I can get some other stuff going, you know? There 
go, some skeletons. This is why we really want to farm. Ooh, lightning ring. Now we'll take the candelabra some more. For some reason, the music, the theme song of Popea reminds me of like pirates. I'm not sure why. I mean, I guess she kind of looks like a barmaid, kind of, you know, from those kinds of games. Ooh, no more Song of Mana. Yeah, we'll take that uh, floor chicken real quick, and we'll go for the chest and see what we get. An axe, alright. Um, let's take a passive. We'll take the bracer, yes, to speed up our axis and our uh, one once uh, bullets. Uh, I'm hoping I get wings. Actually, the wings would help me get to places faster. Guys, we're gonna do a lot of running. And I think that that's in, uh, right now I've wasted enough time far away. No, well, not wasted time, but definitely used up a chunk of my time. See, but we definitely want to get the tome sooner rather than later. Well, let's just take the Puma Roller right now, just to have some uh, self-sustain. We all have we have the basic one from our power-ups, but that's definitely not enough. All right, let's go for that Clover. Uh, I'll upgrade Pichoon. to take out this mantis real quick all right I want to upgrade not bad as I said I'm not gonna go with an optimal run here just because it's going to take a long while for me to farm enough XP to just get 6 passives. The main thing we're shooting for though is the Skullo, Skullo Maniac or whatever. The Skull at the top left there. We don't need that, but we'll take it anyways. We're not going to come back here anyways, so might as well grab it now. And those axes are doing a good chunk of work, though. They might not be the most reliable weapon, but they're good enough that they actually hit a good chunk of the things in our way. Alright, we're almost to that clover. Also, I found out today uh, some actual news about vampire survivors. Uh, there's a second DLC coming out soon, so I'm gonna get it because it's only gonna be like two dollars, a buck fifty, I forget, probably two dollars. But um, that's kind of kind of exciting. Something I'll be completely new to, completely. Oh, I'll take the stone mask just to have another passive. Um, we need money. But anyways, the main reason I'm excited about it is because while I have not played the first DLC of the game, any of its content, 
I do know a bits and pieces about it, but this new DLC I have no nothing about, so that'll be kind of great. <laughs> Let's take the attractor because I'm tired of leaving stuff behind that I'll hopefully get later with a actual magnet pickup, but I can't rely on that, so. Ooh, Tiragusu. Alright, that's a good one. And uh, let's take a nice song of mana. We got kind of lucky that we got a bunch of passives. The only one that's not really that useful is uh, the Stone Mask. I just took it because it'll give me a little bit of boost of money on each chest that I open. So I might as well take it for that reason only. Because we're definitely not using the character or have the weapon that evolves with that. Let's take that. Alright, no Penta run this time. We didn't get the crown to even show up. Alright, let's go for that skull now. Ooh, um, let's just keep taking Song just to max that out. It's our main weapon anyways. Unfortunately, did not get the tome, so our one's gonna be our weakest weapon, probably. Actually, since we got awake, I'm gonna actually take a death here to uh, actually give us a bit of a power up here. Because if you remember, the Awakes gives us a boost to each revive we use up. Alright, uh, we'll take that. And I also picked up Tiragasu, which gives me another revive. I believe the Awake gives me three off the bat. How close are we to a maxed out weapon? Alright. I want to escape the uh, this area. How close are we to the skull? Ooh, we're pretty far still. I was kind of hoping I'd get to the skull before the 10 minute enemy showed up. And also max out the Song of Mana is the main thing I also wanted to do before that. We're just gonna keep running. Uh, I don't think I killed it. No, I did not. Okay. So we're just gonna try to avoid the big boy mantis. It's kinda gonna be our big boy drop. And get as close to the skull as possible before we kill it. Unfortunately, we also did not get the wings. So I might not be able to do the coffin. It's probably what I'm not going to be able to go for. Ah, really? It's not giving me the song of mana? Uh, let's take Clover. I need something with more range. That's why I'm uh, kind of avoiding the whip. As much as I kind of, I kind of like the whip for the close range things, and obviously the Hollow Heart is on this map, so it's pretty much a guaranteed evolution if I go for it. But I want to hold off on that. Probably not going to use the whip for a while until I get a specific other weapon later. I don't have the character for it just yet, though. 
All right, we're almost there. I might consider killing the the mantis now, actually. So, let's hang out here for a bit. Oh, wait, random also. Let's take that. All right, we only got the serenade of healing, so we're gonna take that. Which means it does speed up uh, Penta. I'm, I would have taken if I could have gotten my hands on the crown, but I did not, so... Let's just take Song of Mana. And hopefully the, our next weapon can be the daggers. The daggers would be nice, I guess. We did max out the Song of Mana, so now we really want to get the skull. Sweet. We'll, we'll take that for now. Not amazing, though, but it's fine. There we go. Some chicken. Alright, there it is. Alright, we'll take that death. So we need to uh, get out of here. We're not in a great spot. Uh, let's take a Pichon. We haven't not upgraded our birds at all, which is not great. How close are we? Okay, we're pretty close to that chest, actually, so... We're gonna go for that. Alright, we're gonna go for the coffin next. I, I thought about something that, but we'll save it for later. Alright, so Song of Mana evolves with the skull. And we got the Mananja. And a visual glitch. Alright, there it goes. So now the Song of Mana actually covers some horizontal uh, along with the vertical. Uh, let's see... Our other weapons are not doing too hot, unfortunately, so we're not even close to another evolution. Dang, I am getting destroyed. Well, since we got it, might as well take that garlic. But we do need to get some other weapons leveled up. We are lacking in our damage. Luckily, the garlic plus the serenade of healing is actually keeping the enemies that are getting really close a little bit at bay now. Oh, I killed the mantis. I need to get that chest before I get too far because I am not going to go all the way back for that. Alright, promo roller. It'll keep me alive, I guess. Mm, I could try to get that chicken for damage, but I'm not. It's a little hard to tell, but the uh, the Mananja is supposed to also uh, sometimes slow down enemies. It's a little bit uh, unnoticeable though, so... But if you look closely enough, I'm pretty sure you can see it happen. Honestly, I don't know how many revives I got left. There's no indication of it, I don't think, so... I want to say I'm out of revives, so I'm going to have to play it a little bit safer. Uh, Axis. Our main goal is the coffin. There's no other thing to go for right now, so.
Not the weapon I wanted. I should have not even taken the one, but oh well. Now I have to live with the choices I make. Yeah, unless we start getting some really high DPS, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull off getting Pichon and uh, the Ebony Wings a higher level enough. I need a good wave of weak enemies to farm. The Mantises are too strong. Luckily, we're at a point where the Mantises are just slow enough that I can kind of weasel my way through here. How close am I? I'm not going to go for the Hollow Heart. It's a bit of a useless upgrade overall. We're just going to take it just because we want some... Ah, really? Alright. Not getting very lucky uh, right now. Not even triple chests. Like, triple chests would be helping a lot if I actually got them, but unfortunately I'm not. So this run's not going so hot, but I'm alive. That's That counts for something. Also, please excuse my snifflings. The allergies are still in effect, unfortunately, so... That'll occasionally still be heard throughout some of these recordings. Let's see... We're still a bit of a ways, but we're almost there. Yeah, give me some of those Sami guys. Those are easy enough to deal with. Not a single, and I keep getting passives. That's not great. Oh boy. At this rate, I might not even hit level 50 with her, which is also not great. Like, I'll probably survive to the end, but that's not a real goal at this point. But I might just have to play with her again. I like a lot of these characters where I don't pull off the uh they get to a certain level with them in one and in, in one le in one go. Uh I might do those off screen just because it's not much unless I'm doing it along with another goal. You know what I mean? Like right now I set up myself up for a lot of goals to do. So, even if I don't hit that 50, I'll probably accomplish something else. But when it's, when it's just trying to get to a le certain level with a character... There's not much else to do. It's just kind of boring. It's just running around, surviving, and doing the optimal thing of, you know... Leveling up a lot. Getting all your passes before you pick up the in-stage uh, in items. Oh boy, I might have spoken too soon about surviving. Well. Oh, I still had a revise apparently, but I think I'm out for sure. Hmm, I don't like that I have to go south now. I need to go north for the coffin. I need a rosary. Man, 
We're just not leveling up fast enough. Which was mostly my fault, I think. I honestly should have probably not taken the Pichones, a Pichon and Ebony Wings as soon as I did. Because they're definitely not helping me in the DPS department for the most part. Oh, well, there's the uh, the flower that we want to kill. I right, see we can cut through now. We'll definitely get through to the uh, next section here. Let's see, we didn't get pushed too far detour-wise, so at least there's that. Kind of standing here just so this bat doesn't get too far from me. Keeps giving me passes. Wow, that is really unfortunate. I really need to get at least a triple chest with weapons, but the game's like, nah, screw you. Oh, not the best weapon, but I got a weapon. All right. Alright, we maxed out the axes. That's a that's a good start at least. We're going for the birds now. Uh, we'll take a look. Uh, garlic. Well, we're at level 40, uh, 1. So we might be able to pull off the level 50. That'd be pretty ideal. We did max out the axes, so that's also a good start. We want to take out this mummy to get our uh, spi uh, death spiral. Still no triple though. But now we got a long range weapon again. And with the candelabra maxed out, uh, or not maxed out, but at least we have it. We have a good amount of range on it, too. Alright. And we unlock one of my more favorite characters because of their weapon. Pugnala Provola. Who has the guns. Which is one of my favorite weapons in the game. Alright, now we're just gonna go for the uh, spinach just to increase our damage. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, I probably won't cut the episode, I mean, the, do a cut. Except for the beginning when I accidentally went to this wrong stage. But uh, I'm pretty happy with this run now. Hopefully, I can reach level 50 so I won't have to pull out uh, Popea again. Not that Popea is a bad character, Song of Mana is a really powerful weapon. I just prefer other characters overall. I want to definitely break up Pugnala as soon as possible. Alright. Got a nice like, time stopper, that'll be handy. The main thing that would have helped with this uh, build will be, definitely would have been a tome. Uh, we don't have uh, any weapon. We'll just hang out here, I guess. 
while the spinach would help our DPS, honestly, at this point, we're kind of far into the run that I don't want to have another item that could pop up on a chest or on my level up screen. So we're just going to hang out here. We're at least strong enough that we can not uh, basically not get ourselves killed by just trying to like move. The main thing I'm banking on right now is leveling up enough to get uh, the birds. We need the birds to level up because I honestly I don't really like the bird power ups or weapons. They just don't don't seem very good to me. There probably are builds that can make good use of them, but I don't like them personally. Alright, here's the big uh, big version of the uh, flower enemy we're supposed to kill. This one in particular is the one that, that counts for the uh, achievement. Alright. So I guess I will do a cut. Uh, once I get to the next level up, I will cut and let you know how the run went. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. Okay, so... The reason I'm showing this is because we actually got to level 50 and we got the Vendelier. And the uh, union of the wing, of both Ebony Wings and Pichon. Which is basically both birds combined. We're gonna pick Santa Water. It's not gonna matter at this point what I pick for the most part because this run's pretty much complete. We did uh, also leave our chests over here. But as you can see, a Union weapon is kind of nice because it also frees up a lot slot, so you can pick up a new weapon. So right here, I'm just going to go for triples and maybe a Penta, but it's probably not going to happen. Uh, we almost have the Garlic maxed out, so I might as well shoot for that before I pick up this one. Also, the Bandolier actually has its own level ups, so it's also kind of a nice thing that it does go have. Alright, we got the garlic. Not a triple again, but we got the evolution. So I'll show you uh, these last few minutes of this run. We got an okay amount of gold, but I could have definitely gotten more if I got luckier. But now we got some big AoE going on, so... But this is the, the... The last two minutes are not very exciting because it's just a bunch of these tanky enemies. Uh, that show up. Like, in this case, it's just the, the big boy bats that are with the glow. They don't really do anything in particular that is dangerous other than just rush you. I'll pick up that last second. Just because. Nah, I'll pick it now. 20 seconds left. No, the Bora. We got a, a large amount of levels that I did not expect here towards the end. Obviously, these guys always drop red orbs, which are worth a lot. But I meant even before this point of the, the run. Oh no. Alright. Alright, and that was actually our last revive. So, we actually got the skeletons done too, which isn't great. Got the blue Venus. Got, uh, Pugnala. Level 50 with Popea. Survive 50 minutes with Popea. Survive 20 minutes with at least 10 curse. And unite the wings. And also, evolve the Song of Mana. And lastly, you like Hyper Mode for 3 stages. 
So before I leave you guys off here, we unlocked these two we well, we got the ability to unlock these two weapons, so we need to survive with Pugnala, which I am going to use on this next run. Uh, I felt that we were not getting lucky, so let's take some luck here. I cannot afford the last growth. We'll take the speed. Like recovery we got 400 left that's not for much for anything is it nope uh is that enough to buy somebody though because ooh, i am short on pugnala uh in that case i think oh, i can't skip to the end let me go up for bot nope i cannot do that oh no i can okay let's ignore those here we go so, uh, is there one for Imelda? Yes, Antonio and Imelda both have level 50s. So, next run, let's, let's go with Antonio. We'll go with Antonio to the library. Just to have it set up. We'll go to the library. And we'll see what we can do besides uh, getting him to level 50. Probably some other weapon stuff related to him or maybe maybe i'll go for tarona's thing because there's nothing really in particular that we have to do anyways i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching and hopefully you enjoyed the video bye